Hello and welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I'm Jake and today we are unboxing One Night Ultimate Bonus Rolls. 15 new rolls for all One Night games. They are also including another Innocent Bystander, which is uh, a previous roll. So Bezier Games. And this is just a, an expansion. You need one of the other sets. But 3 to 12 players, it says 10 minutes. I would say that that's accurate, if not overestimating the time. Ages 8 and up. Uh, no moderator, no elimination, no same old cards. 15 new rolls to add to your one night games. Body Snatcher, Aura, Seer, Thing, a bunch of new tokens. From the Helpful Squire to the Invulnerable Prince, these rolls keep games fresh and unpredictable. You can even increase the size of your games up to 12 players. These rolls are compatible with all One Night games, One Night Ultimate Werewolf, Daybreak, Vampire, Alien, and Supervillains. Uh, 15 new rolls, one extra innocent bystander, like I said, um, sturdy tiles, 16 roll tokens, 2 player number tokens, 11 and 12, uh, 6 artifact tokens, and a detailed reference guide to all this great new stuff. This is already ripped a little. Free poster on back. It seems like every one of these has a free poster. Let's see how well you can see that. I think that's the main point of it. Remembering Sears. On the other side is ads. We've got our rules. So we've got our our some of our artifact tokens and the number tokens. Token for the apprentice tanner, which is this new roll up here. Well, these look like the superhero and villains. Oh no, these are just heroes. Wendy Wendy, Ricochet Rhino, and there's another innocent bystander with their tokens. I like the Rhino. Um, Defender, Family Man, The Sponge. I kind of like The Sponge, that's, that's kind of funny. Thing, Squire, Beholder. Ooh, some of these self-punched. Nostradamus. Cursed. Here's that prince. Empath. That sounds cool. Their tokens are obviously in here. Aura Seer. I'm curious to know what's different about that one compared to the regular or the the Seer in Training or whatever that role was called. And Body Snatcher. He looks like an alien. And then of course those tokens, like I was saying. So go ahead and. Look at these rolls. Aura Seer is first. When the Aura Seer wakes up, all players who have, at that point in the night, viewed or moved any card stick out their thumbs. If a roll was called and the player did not view or move a card, that player does not stick out his thumb. The Aura Seer is woken up after the Troublemaker. Or a Village Idiot. It is on the Village team. Cursed. The Cursed does not wake up at night. The Cursed is on the village team. Unless at least one werewolf or vampire votes for him, and then he becomes a werewolf or a vampire and joins the werewolf or vampire team. This means that if the Cursed receives the most votes, and at least one of those votes is from a werewolf or vampire, the village team will win. Interesting. I like that a lot. Prince. The Prince does not wake up at night. 
votes for the prince do not count. If the prince receives the most votes, the player who receives the next largest amount of votes, greater than one, dies. The prince is on the village team. That sounds similar to a previous role that was on its own team, not the village team, if I recall. Apprentice Tanner. Uh, Apprentice Tanner puts out his thumb so the Apprentice Tanner knows who the Tanner is. Uh, the Apprentice Tanner wins if the Tanner dies, in which case the Tanner wins too. If there is no Tanner, the Apprentice Tanner realizes that the Tanner job is not all that after all and only wins if he dies, is on a Tanner team. That sounds interesting, I guess. I don't usually play with a Tanner. Uh, Beholder. The Beholder wakes up and learns who the Seer and Apprentice Seer are by having them stick out their thumbs just to make sure they haven't been switched with other roles, and Beholder may then check the cards of the Seer and Apprentice Seer. They're on the village team. Squire. The squire wakes up and learns who the werewolves are by having them stick out their thumbs just to make sure they haven't been switched with other roles. The squire may then view the cards of the werewolves. If no players are werewolves, the squire wins as long as one other player, not the squire, dies. The squire is on the werewolf team. That's intriguing. The thing. Uh, the thing wakes up and may tap the near shoulder of either the player on his left or the player on his right. That sounds similar to a couple other things. Body Snatcher wakes up with the aliens and then wakes up again by himself later. The second time he wakes up, he must take a card from a non-alien player, look at that card, and then place his Body Snatcher card face down in front of the player he stole from. The card he stole is now an alien, regardless of what team the role was on before. If the card moves, the player who has the card at the end of the game is an alien and is on the alien team. The player who has the Body Snatcher card is also an alien. Nostradamus wakes up and may look at one, two, or three cards. The last card he looks at is the team he is on. When he has looked at his last card, he must tap that roll on the app. The app then tells the players Nostradamus' team. Nostradamus wins if he lives, and the team he is on wins. If he is on the werewolf vampire alien team, he is not a werewolf vampire alien. So if he dies, he will not cause the team he is on to lose, even though Nostradamus himself won't win. Nostradamus is on the team of the last card he looks at, which he taps on the app. If he does not look at a card or choose a card in the app, the app will choose a team for him. If a player receives a Nostradamus card from the center cards he is on, the team that the app has chosen for him. Empath wakes up and watches as certain players do things, as determined by the app. That's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, Ricochet, Ricochet Rhino has the most, if he has the most players pointing at him, the player he is pointing at is caught instead of him, regardless of how many votes his target receives. On the hero team. Okay. Family Man uh, doesn't wake up, but is told which and how many players adjacent to him are now members of his family. Family Man wins as long as none of the players who are part of Family Man, including the Family Man player, are caught. Family Man wins in addition to any other teams that might win. Hmm. The players Family Man must keep alive are always relative to the location of the Family Man card at the end of the game. He is on his own team. Defenderer. When everyone votes, the player that the Defenderer points to cannot be caught. If that has the most players pointing at him, the player who is pointed at the most after that player greater than one is caught. When the Defenderer is in the game, it is necessary for all players to turn their cards over right after the vote to see if the Defenderer is pointing to the player who has the most players pointing at him. Defenderer is on the hero team. That sounds like another role. The Sponge does not wake up at night. Players who point at the sponge do not count. If the sponge has the most players pointing at him, the player who is pointed at the most after the sponge is caught on the hero team. Wendy Wendy does not wake up at night, uh, is on the hero team unless at least one villain votes for her and then she becomes a villain and joins the villain team. This means that if Wendy Wendy has the most players pointing at her and at least one of the other players is a villain, a villain has been caught. 
That sounds similar to uh, the squire. Uh, and then the innocent bystander, as per the other world, the one night werewolf, I think, is the one that has it. Um, oh, it's and then super villains too. Is not a hero, but he is on the hero team. Um, and in the other one, he's just on the, the town team, the villager team. I mean. Uh, then there's doppelganger and bonus rolls, special cases. We'll look at the new artifacts too. Uh, special cases. If the prince receives the mist of the vampire, he is a vampire and no longer has his special ability. He can be killed. If the tanner has the mark of fear, a vampire, he still puts his thumb out when the apprentice tanner wakes. If the seer or apprentice seer has the mark of fear, vampire, she still puts her thumb out when the beholder wakes. If any werewolf has the mark of fear, vampire, he still puts his thumb out when the squire wakes. Uh, 11 and 12 tokens you use with Alien, the One Night Alien set. New artifacts. Uh, these artifacts can be used with the Curator in Daybreak. Shuffle these artifacts into the stack of other artifacts. Bow of the Hunter. You are now a hunter. If you die, the player you are pointing at also dies. Cloak of the Prince. You are now a prince. Votes against you do not count. Sword of the Bodyguard. You are now a bodyguard. The player you vote for cannot be killed. Mist of the Vampire. You are now a vampire and win or lose with the vampire team. If you die, the vampire team and you loses. Only use this in combination with rolls from One Night Ultimate Vampire. Dagger of the Traitor. You are a traitor to your team. You only win if someone else on your team dies. Alien Artifact. You are an alien and win and lose with the alien team. Seems pretty, pretty normal. Alright, that has been everything in and on the box. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.